What better way to end a three-day weekend than making French onion soup? I'll tell you what's even better than that. Making French onion soup in 20 minutes, when it would normally take about three hours to make a really good one. The difference in taste? There isn't one. So let's get started with this one. This recipe comes to you by Great Food Fast, Bob Warden's other cookbook for instant pressure cooker pots. Uh, I think you guys are gonna really, really like this one. So the only part of this recipe that really takes any time at all is just the slicing of the onions, which I've done here and I've put in a gigantic bowl. I've actually doubled this recipe because I have these really large crocs that I put the onion soup in. No, I'm not talking about the kind that you wear on your feet. I'm talking about these kinds of crocs, right here. Cute with a little lid. And uh, I use potpourri of onions. I use Spanish, red, yellow, and Vidalia, or sweet. I just feel like it just adds like something to the soup, or maybe it's just a psychological thing. And uh, once you get done with that, um, and you cry more than you do at the end of beaches, or the fact that they're remaking beaches for lifetime, I don't know what made me cry more, um, you're gonna just, your, your, your prep is done. So we start by putting six tablespoons of butter. Again, I'm doubling the recipe. Normally it would be three, but this is six tablespoons, which is three quarters of a stick. And I'm going to put in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We got one in there, and here's the other. All right, now that we got that going on, what we do is we simply put this, the, the pressure cooker here, on saute, which is one of the best features that it has. And then once the, the butter and the oil starts to get hot and sizzly, we're gonna add the onions. It's melting, it's melting, what a world, what a world. Now that everything's melted and we have a nice sizzle going on here, of course, we add the onions. It's a lot of onions to put in here, so bear with me. Okay, now that all the onions are added, we just really want to just keep stirring it up a bit because all the onions, it looks really high up. Of course, they cook down. So you want to just keep stirring it up. We're going to be doing this for about 10 minutes until they all caramelize which means it needs to become translucent and reduced to about a quarter of the amount of the size that you see here. I'm also going to add about four teaspoons of light brown sugar to the mix and add that in there as well. It's going to give it a really nice flavor. It's not going to be overly sweet at all because we don't want our soup to be too sweet. It's going to give us that perfect balance of sweet and savory once we add the salt. Again, we want to keep tossing and tossing and mixing until all the onions are coated in the oil and the butter. And uh, again, it'll take, it'll take about 10 minutes total. This is the longest part of the recipe. And look at how we're almost caramelized here. We're about 10 minutes in. I'm gonna go a little longer because I've doubled the recipe. I used seven onions instead of four. Um, so you can see how it's starting to get real, real nice. Uh, it's important that you don't, want, you don't want it to be too mushy, but you don't want it to be crunchy either. There is really nothing worse than eating uh, an onion soup and having crunchy onions in there. <sighs> and that smell. In the words of a New Year's Eve performing Mariah, it just don't get any better. And look at that, we've reduced down to about three quarters where we began. We started up here, we're all the way down here, and this puppy's basically about caramelized by now. Look at how nice that is. Fantastic. No hard pieces, really, just this lovely, fantastic, almost pasta-like consistency of onions. And the uh, next step, we'll be adding the beef broth. So for my other video with the mac and cheese, I was talking about better than bouillon for the stock. It applies here too. They make it in multiple flavors. This one's beef based, the other one was chicken based for the mac and cheese. I use this, and I'm, since I doubled the recipe, I used eight tables, eight, eight teaspoons, I'm sorry, of the better than bouillon, and I put it in eight cups of water. Uh, and we're gonna dump it right into the uh, into the caramelized and onions. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna add this in, uh, just like that. The other one in because my measuring cup is a big enough for eight cups. There we go. That's gonna go in there. I'm gonna put in two cups. I'm gonna put in two cups of red wine. I just use red cooking wine, but you can use really any kind of red wine that you see fit. Let's get that in there. I'm gonna put in two bay leaves. Normally it's just one. Again, we're doubling, so I'm putting two in. We're going to put two teaspoons of dried thyme. That's one, two. I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of salt, one, two. And one teaspoon of pepper. And that is all I'm putting in there, that's it. Give this a stir, stir everything up, get all the ingredients going nice in there, and 
the lid goes on. And we are going to go with manual, which is our high pressure right there. We want this to go for about, I'm going to put this on for 9 minutes. Actually, I'm going to put it on for 10. The original calls for 8, but I'm doubling it, so I'm putting 10 minutes. And we want to make sure we're in sealing mode here. This is going to start to go on, and in, in less than 10 seconds it'll begin the heating process. There we go. And now all we have to do is just wait and clean up some of this uh, prep. And while that's continuing in the Instant Pot cooking, I'm going to preheat the oven to broil. And we're done. Next step, again, release. Be very careful. It's gonna take uh, a couple of more minutes, and then we're gonna open. You guys, as it's releasing from the pot, it smells so good. All right, and we're done, so let's open this up. There is our French onion soup. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I mean, look at this. Unbelievable. I'm gonna take the bay leaves out of here. I'll use my hands, they're clean, I promise. Because who wants to eat a bay leaf? I mean, sometimes they appear in your soup and you're like, oh, it's garnish. Mm. Okay, who wants to eat that? Throw it away. So now what we want to do is we want to ladle the soup into the crock. And we want to start by really getting a lot of onions because you don't want to skimp on the onions. So right there, this is a really large crock. They're larger than usual. When I bought them on Amazon a few years ago, I didn't realize how wide the diameter is. Sometimes, you know, people might like things wider. And you really want to fill it right to the brim. Just so it's just like this. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take some croutons. I feel like croutons are so much easier than slices of bread. Because slices of bread, it's one piece and you have to like cut it up and it's annoying. This right here creates a perfect layer for a platform for the cheese to sit upon. Take one more in here and they're easier to eat. You don't have to cut it up. So I'm gonna, because again, this thing is so wide, which is again why I had to double the recipe, because these don't fit. Uh, this would only make about four of these crocs worth. I'm gonna double the seal on this, so it's like this. And also leave it a little on the sides, so it can spill over, we like that, you know. And then I'm gonna put a piece of Swiss on top, you could use Gruyere or whatever, whatever works. And then some paprika, you're gonna sprinkle on top for some garnish, make it look all pretty. Whoops, I'll pick that up later. And then you put this, Right onto this. Oh, being a little sloppy. And then it goes right into the oven. Let's check on this and see how that's going along. Oh, yeah. Just how we like it. Let's give it a little look and see how we're doing. Oh, that looks beautiful. It's about ready to come out. In a few more seconds. And there we have it. Fresh out of the oven. Perfect French onion soup. Only made at about 20, 25 minutes tops. Let's put this thing on a plate. And look at that thing of French beauty. Look at that, you just take the spoon a little bit and then create a little, ooh, look at that. And uh, let's try a little bit now, shall we? Ooh, let's get some cheese in there, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Don't ever, mm. Eat French onion soup on a first date, by the way. Ever. C'est magnifique. And as you can see, I have plenty of leftovers because I'm gonna freeze this. This stuff doesn't really ever go bad. You put it in your freezer and I have three quarts ready to go on our next snow day. So we're ready to load up on French onion soup whenever we want it.